What's up, guys? Nithvoid here with another Fan Friday video for you. Uh, I did say I was going to try to do these every week, and I have some stuff to talk about, so sweet. I actually have time to do it. It's a Thursday night for me, and the wife is not here, so I'm partying. All my buddies are coming over. You know, we're going to wreck the house and then probably clean it up before she comes home tomorrow. As you probably guess, that's all a joke. But anyway, let's get, let's get into the Fan Friday. Uh, I've had a kind of a long day, so my jokes might be a little stale or really not very good, but that's just the way it is. Sorry about that. So, I will be live streaming tonight, starting at 6 p.m. P uh, Pacific Time. That's UTC minus 7, as far as I remember off the top of my head. There will be a link in the video description to uh, convert your time to my time, which is Pacific again. Um, sorry that it's not on Saturday, so that you guys can, can jump in there, but... Saturday, I will be busy moving some furniture and stuff like that, which I will talk about a little bit later. So I can't do it Saturday morning. So, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I'll probably live stream for two or three hours. I usually try not to burn myself out too much because Friday night is also the time that I try to record lots of videos. Um, a lot of you, well, 90% of you or more probably know that I work nine to five, five days a week. So, a lot of the content you see me put out. Uh, is pre-recorded on the weekend just because that's when I have time to do it. So that's why I don't live stream all night or, you know, two or three nights in a row and all that crap. But I do. I am going to try to live stream once a weekend if it's open on a Friday night or Saturday morning. depends. So, yes, live streaming tonight. Check the description for my Twitch link. It's also on my channel page. Um, so just go there, too. I, I, I don't, I, yeah, I guess it would be on both channel pages now. I think I put it on both. Um, if you don't know what both channels means, just listen and you will know in a little bit. So, actually you'll know right here, next bullet, I'm splitting up Fan Friday to cover both channels. Um, I've had Fan Friday on my Dungeon Guru Net channel since, I don't know, forever. Uh, I just do kind of game, you know, channel news and game news and stuff like that. But I want to, um, I also want to have that on my Let's Play channel because I want it to be a standalone channel. I don't want it to be, it's going to be a second channel in a sense, but I want it to be Two independent standalone channels. Um, one is content for combat related, like more lobby based stuff, and the other one would be more story or let's play based stuff with long drawn out series on the same game or something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll have a general section which is what we're in now for Fan Friday and then I'm going to say okay here's where I'm going to split it to channel specific information so if you want the other channels information um, I'm going to have a link to the other channels video so you can pick up um, that information as well if you're watching both. Um, but I really don't want everybody to have to congregate on one of the channels. I really do want them to, to act independently. Um, I think it's going to be better for the growth of the Let's Play channel if it does operate more independently and has its own fan interaction and stuff like that. Because undoubtedly there will be people that are on that Let's Play channel that have never subscribed to my combat channel and all that stuff and so they aren't going to get a lot of the cool interaction you guys have been getting on the combat channel for a long time. So. I will be doing that from now on. Um, Fan Friday suggest uh, questions from last week. Um, really, first let's cover games I should play. I know that was one of my questions to you guys. I'm also going to be pulling up the other questions that I've singled out to, to uh, reply to. Um, if I could just find where I did it. Okay, right there. Duh. Okay. So, okay, that's easy. Now I've got it all set up. Probably should have set that up earlier, but that's fine. So... Here are the games that you guys suggested I play. I'm going to talk about each one of them. Guild Wars 2, not not a, not a bad game. I've never played it before, so that'd be kind of cool. Problem: the only problem with Guild Wars 2 is it's been out for a long time, and so the initial high, the way YouTube works again because it's so bait now anyway. It's so much based on um, vir the virality of your video is that. People generally, and just people, the way people operate in general, is they, a new game comes out that they want to play, Guild, War 2, Guild Wars 2 in this case, they do a YouTube search, there's a page of people come up with videos, uh, they click on a couple of them um, on that first page, figure out who they like, they stick with that guy, and they never really go back to the search page. So you really, if you want to make an impact and you're not a gigantic channel, um, you're going to have to do it right when the game releases. There's, you can't go after the fact. Uh, you know, a year later or two years later or whatever the game is. In, in most cases, there are some cases where you can, but in most cases, forget doing that because you're never going to get enough of an audience to get high enough in search to actually pick up new fans. Um, so that's really unfortunate because that means I can't play games like Guild Wars 2. If I don't play a game when it launches, I basically can't play it. 
uh, at least for YouTube. And since I have so little time, every game I play, I record. Because I just don't have time to do lots of footage for you guys and just play other games on the side. Um, so that's the way it is. Start a Citizen. Definitely, I've been watching this one. I'm really trying to get in on the Kickstarter, actually, because I want some of the beta packages and stuff. But I couldn't figure out how to do that. I thought it was closed on Kickstarter. Uh, but they keep saying it's breaking new records that's still bringing in money. So it, it, I don't know. I thought it was closed. I, I'll have to log into Kickstarter again and see if I can Kickstarter or put a little uh, money on the Kickstarter and get a bundle or something. Um, but that is definitely a game that's not out yet. It's not even in beta. It's a great choice that will be coming up on my channel. Again, assuming it's good. I have a feeling it's going to be. It's going to be a lot like EVE. They're pulling a lot of elements from EVE, like the economy, uh, regional economies, all this other cool stuff. Craft everything that's in the game, that kind of thing that makes EVE awesome. But I think they're going to have a better combat system where EVE's combat system isn't bad, but it's very, it's too much point and click and not enough I get to drive my, my ship using WASD. Um, I really think they should have WASD Flight, because I just think it would be more fun uh, and make combat more interesting. So I'm really hoping that, that Star Citizen does that kind of combat, and I think it's going to. Uh, I've also heard them mention that they're going to have multiple people on some of the larger ships, so if they do that, that is going to be kick-ass. And so definitely I'm going to be playing Star Citizen uh, when it comes out, so I'll be watching it really closely. If you know anything about the Kickstarter, if you can still kickstart uh, Star Citizen Get Packages, Please leave a comment in the video section so I can see that, uh, because I'm really interested in getting in really early with that game. Kerbal Space Pro Program, again, great game that I never got a chance to play, and I was actually checking it out. It looks right up my alley. Very technical, very complex game that you can spend hours and hours and hours on. The problem with uh, Kerbal Space Program is it's very old. Um, I know it's not technically launched yet, but once it's allowed to be on YouTube and has an actual... Um, bump up in virality like it has had, uh, it's pretty much a lock. So while that's one of those games you probably could edge your way in on a little bit because it doesn't have a super huge following, you know, you don't have Yogscast doing Kerbal Space Program videos every day. Um, it's still going to be one of those things where it's very old already, so I would maybe do it as a side project for fun and see what happens. I still might do that, I don't know. Um, EVE Online, again, falls right back into Guild Wars. Well, there's really a couple things with EVE. Uh, Eve is very old. I do know that I had a great um, video go up for Eve Newbie Guide. It's still on the first page of Eve, so I've actually got some street cred with Eve as far as the search engine is concerned. Uh, the problem with Eve, in my opinion, is it's so boring to watch. It's even boring to play a lot of the times. In fact, the way I play Eve, I fire it up, I, I, I go do something in Empire, you know, if I'm playing by myself, because I, I don't have time to play with a lot of other people for hours and hours and hours. So I have to play solo. Well, that means I can fire that guy up, do something, and then actually play a different game while it completes whatever I set it to do. So sometimes, and that's why I actually burn out with it for every, like I'll, I'll start it up, play for a couple months, and I'll kind of shut it down again because I get, I get bored. And that's why I'm really, really, really hoping that Star Citizen has more active gameplay. Um, I want it to have active WASD combat. Okay. I also want to have more active mining, more active uh, crafting. I want to be involved in creating things. I want to have to micromanage stuff. I want it to be complicated. Um, Eve is complicated, but here's the thing. Eve is only hard to figure out. Once you figure out how to do something, it's not complicated. Uh, it's the same every time, and that's the part that I don't really find interesting. Uh, once I beat it, it's no fun anymore. So I want something that's going to constantly keep me working on becoming more efficient or learning the system a little bit better, things like that. So I really hope Star System or Star Citizen has that kind of uh, system or uh, does have those kind of systems. So Eve, again, probably a no-go. Uh, maybe every once in a while, but probably not. Firefall. Uh, it is kind of a new game. It's a MMO FPS. And that's pretty awesome. I've kind of heard some bad things about Firefall. Um, I kind of w wanted to get in on the beta, and I couldn't even launch the freaking game. So I just kind of stopped trying at that point. Another thing about Firefall is it's already pretty active as far as YouTube's concerned. It's, they've allowed people to post beta footage for forever, as far as I know anyway. And so the hype for that is pretty much done. They might have another hype kick when it goes live, but since it's pretty much open beta and has been for a long time, the hype is, is come and gone. There's... There's not going to be another hype boost for that game. 
unless they do some kind of weird advertising like a massive TV ad or some kind of different advertising they haven't already done, then there's not going to be another hype boost. So Firefall, as far as YouTube's concerned, is already done. Um, so sorry, I'm probably not doing that. I will talk about a couple of games I do want to do coming up, and, and most of that uh, stuff I was just talking about was more from the general chat, or I mean the general Fan Friday video from last Fan Friday on the Dungeon Gubernet channel. So I would imagine when I ask what game do you guys want me to play on the different channels that I will get different kinds of answers. So sorry, but that was mostly combat related. Um, some of it wouldn't be. I Oh, Starbound. I didn't talk about that. I, I don't even know what Starbound is. It's made by the guys that make Terraria, which Terraria is pretty good. Uh, it has a lot, uh, leaves, you know, I could see a lot of expansion for that thing. And in fact, in Terraria, expansion is coming up as far as I've heard. But uh, I don't even know what Starbound is. So it, that's not that Minecraft one where you build Minecraft ships, right? Because um, if that's the case, I'm not even sure I have time for that. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do a couple things here and there. You know what I forgot to do is fan questions. <laughs> I, I, I went over all those games and, and stopped with not answering the fan question. So I think what I'm going to do is pick out three or four per, per video. And that way, um, if, I, if I don't answer your question, feel free to ask it again on the next week and I might pick it up. I'm going to pick up uh, the two or three questions a week that I feel uh, just kind of interested in, in answering. So right here you've seen Steven Schumacher's question. You scared me at the start of the video. You sounded very serious. I thought you were going to say no more what. <laughs> yeah, I kind of had a joke, I think, at the beginning of the last video. So couple things. None of my Facebook friends are into the games I play, so how can I help your channel without sharing to Facebook? And yeah, and that's exactly what I was talking about in the previous Fan Friday video. I'm kind of pretty, I'm pretty upset that YouTube, in a sense, I feel like it's selling out to get more traffic by trying to be like, oh, we only want viral videos. Well, you do know that 80%, you know, 60 to 80% of your traffic's from Let's Plays, and they're not viral at all. So, you're, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things in business where if you have 100 customers, but... 30% of your views are brought in by the top two customers, and so you're trying to get more of those kind of top two customers. But in doing so, you snub off the rest of the 60% of the volume from your other customers. That's then usually not a good business plan. So I I don't know. We'll see how it all shakes out. Um, how you can help me is all the ways you can help outside of commenting, viewing, and liking are really kind of intrusive as far as I'm concerned. One of the other ones is favoriting the video. Um, that has a pretty significant amount of weight. The problem is it screws up your favorites. So if you use your favorites a lot, well, there you go. If you're going to favorite every one of my videos, that doesn't help you. I think most people use their favorites for, like, a way to bookmark a video to come back to it later. Uh, there's also Watch Later if you want to pick that. And, you know, you do have two different feeds for that in a sense. You can click Watch Later. It'll put it in your Watch Later uh, list and so that you can go back and watch that video later, kind of like a bookmark. Um, I don't know if you watch it if it actually leaves that feed. I'm not sure. I don't use I don't use the watch. God, I don't use the watch later. Jeez. Uh, so anyway, favorites. Yeah, that's where a lot of people like they'll favorite a guide or something, and they'll they can keep referencing that guide. Uh, but that's one way favoriting. Uh, liking doesn't seem to add a lot of weight. Um, it adds some, but it's definitely not like watching an embedded video or sharing to Facebook or Twitter. Um, those are huge. Uh, another one, again, uh, favoriting is fairly large. Sorry about that. Um, another thing you can do is watch the video all the way through. Don't cut the video like halfway or anything like that. Um, just watch the whole thing because YouTube really looks at the total minutes watched. So if you can get a lot of total minutes watched, that helps a ton. Especially in the beginning uh, when you're there's first figuring out how to rank your video and all your biggest fans come on and watch the entire video. That's the maximum minutes watched you could put, you could get from your fans, and that really helps. Um, second, how did you manage to bounce a shot in V39 uh, left out loud? Yeah, probably it was a bounce off highly angled armor, and that also was angled horizontally, so that was probably just a super lucky bounce. Or some people say it's World of Tanks fixing the game. That's another excuse people make. I don't know which it is. We'll never really know. It would take a massive amount of um, data analysis to figure that out. It is possible to figure that out. You could probably figure out if they're fixing games just by pulling data, a massive amount of data, and running it through some uh, you know, massive computer systems and, and trying to work out an algorithm. Uh, that's a lot like breaking code is all it's really doing, all you're really doing there. So next question. 
Christoph696. Hey, John, I have a strange little question about Fan Friday. Whatever happened to the unicorn? Oh, crap. Oh, there you go. Whatever happened to the unicorn James T. Kirk from a BFD, a BF3 Fan Friday from a long time ago? Never stop believing. Miracles are everywhere. Is that the guy you were talking about? Yeah, he's here hey, still. Only use your horn only when you have to. Shut up, James! Yeah, dude, that video was awesome. I want to do some more of those. Uh, in fact, that kind of goes right into my Dungeon Guru Nets specific stuff I want to talk about in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, he's still here. I just haven't really used him. It was more of a Battlefield 3 specific thing I used to do. No, we used to do it for Fan Friday all the time, right? Andrew's sitting right next to me. He used to do Fan Friday with me. Um, I thought that was just, that's not just on Battlefield 3, huh? Interesting. I think we started using it when I started Battlefield 3 and kind of stopped using it when I stopped doing Battlefield 3. Kind of. That's probably why I'm associating the two. But anyway, so that's where he went. He, I probably bring him back, make a short appearance with that dude. Maybe every once in a while. It's kind of a fun little thing to use. Uh, moving on to the next comment here or question. Slush Slugger Official. Nether, when did your channel start growing? Keep up the good work. So, my channel started growing. Well, I started doing. Um, actually, started with Dofus videos. I don't. Most of you guys probably don't know what that game is. If you look at the very first videos I reloaded. They're all Dofus because it was it's a MMO game where uh, Andrew and I were playing at the time, and I thought it'd be cool to put videos up for it. Um, that was really in support of Dungeon Gurnet, the website. Uh, it was a wiki, or it still is a wiki, technically. Um, but I was trying to build guides, or dungeon guides, on that wiki, and then I was just going to have videos of boss fights and stuff like that. Well, what we found out, Andrew and I, was it was a lot more fun to record those videos, so I just figured, well, I'm going to ditch the wiki and just do the videos. Because creating all that infrastructure on the wiki just seemed like a pain in the ass when I could just make a playlist in YouTube and you can just search the playlist and pick out the boss fight you wanted. So that was kind of how I transitioned into all YouTube, really, no wiki. Um, and then I also started doing World of Tanks because I started playing World of Tanks and I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. I can't remember who told me about it, but somebody said, hey, you should try this game. It's pretty neat. I tried it. I liked it. Um... And so I started playing it so much, I thought, well, why am I not recording this? Why don't I record this? Because I'm just not wasting time, but I figured, you know, I might as well make videos out of this. So I started recording videos. Um, I actually only did like a couple videos, and then I started my guides. I'd already been playing for probably about four months at that time. But those videos really took off, and a lot of it's because not a lot of people were covering World of Tanks. Well, there's two reasons. Not a lot of people were covering World of Tanks, so it made it pretty easy to enter that market. Um... Now, I mean, that was before World of Tanks even made their own channel. So, Jingles wasn't in it. He didn't, hadn't even started doing videos at all. Um, I don't even think... Uh, Jingles hadn't. Quickie Baby wasn't there when I started. I also don't think World of Tanks Tips was there. I know that's uh, High Flyer 15. Circumflexes, I don't know if he was doing them yet. Um, uh, I don't know if Sidestrafe were doing it. I know Sidestrafe... No, he, he wasn't because he started... Well, he got big when he did DayZ, so I don't even know if he was doing anything before that. So I've been doing World of Tanks videos pretty much before almost anybody else. Darkling started before me, um, and a couple other guys. But that's when it started growing, really, from those guides. Uh, if you're a really small YouTuber, my biggest advice is to do guides. Make almost all your videos guides, and do a really good job at your guides, and people will stick around. Um, because it's really hard to get traction as a YouTuber st strictly through Let's Play commentary or just, hey, here's a replay, I'm going to do commentary on it because, you know, I, it's weird. People like numbers. I, I don't know why people like subscribe. Oh, wow, this guy has a million subscribers. I'm going to watch him. That doesn't mean he's good. It just means he has a million subscribers. There are tons of smaller channels that have good commentary that just don't have a lot of numbers. And so it, it's kind of a snowball effect, right? If you don't have a lot of numbers, it's hard to get your snowball rolling and get bigger. As soon as you start getting bigger, it's kind of takes off on its own. Um, YouTube make that a lot harder though when they change their algorithm from total views really to pushing your video to uh, this whole viral thing where it's all sharing and all that crap. Um, so that, in a sense, it helps little channels, but the problem is nobody can ever really get big. Um, everybody's mixed together and it, it, it takes longer to rise above. I, I, this is gonna sound like a really bad thing for small channels and I'm not trying to say it's bad but it, okay let's just put it this way it's hard to rise above the millions of people doing YouTube uh, it used to be sorry keep, keep 
clearing my throat. It used to be, once you got hit about 700 to 1,000 subscribers, and, and if you did content on smaller games with not a lot of major presence by like Yogg's Cast and all that, um, you, could, you could grow slowly over time, pretty much with no problems. Because as you grew, you'd get more views on each video, and you would have a natural progression that way. Uh, again, if you have good comment, good. I'm assuming you have good video and audio and commentary, okay, at this point. Uh, that's the only thing you can tr control. So, so now the way it works, though, is a guy with 100 views or, a, you know, 400 views can easily beat out a video that I have that has 4,000 views. Um, because maybe his video is 30 minutes, let's say, and mine's 10 minutes. Uh, so I have less overall watch time per, per view. Secondly, if his views all came off a website, an embedded video on a website, his, he's actually getting 100 times, approximately 100 times, the amount of views he's got. So now he's got a 30-minute video that's, that really pulled 40,000 views, even though it says 400. While that's great, it's trying, they're trying to link into viral videos. The real problem is it just mucks everything up at below 30,000 subscribers, which is a really significant amount of YouTube. There are not that many channels that are above 30 to 100,000. Um, there are, you know, there are some, obviously. There, you know, there are over a thousand, but I mean, the majority of YouTube uh, channels are under 30,000. So they just mucked up the whole base so that it's really hard to rise above. Now I have to work, go back to sweating my balls off just to grow a tiny bit. And that is really draining, uh, especially when I've been doing this for over two years now. So, you know, I, I don't know. I guess as far as working my ass off, I'm getting a little tired of doing that. And so, <laughs> I don't know, it's tough. Um... So that's when I started growing, again, back when it was a lot easier to do YouTube because they had a much more uh, easier algorithm for smaller channels. Their newer algorithm is really based on uh, super huge channels. And then, like you're seeing, I've seen a lot of channels lately uh, who are nobodies. All of a sudden, boom, they explode because they get one viral video, and then they're on the first page of something. Or not viral video, but they get one video that gets into the, you know, they had 2,000 views or something, and it starts ranking above... Yogscast videos that have a million views, again, seemingly for no reason, and then because they're on the first page, and maybe even above Yogscast, people start clicking them, they start subscribing to them, and bam, they, they explode. Um, not saying they don't have good commentary. Again, I'm assuming that all video, uh, audio, and commentary are even in this, in this analysis, um, but it really is whoever's on the first page. That's almost all that matters anymore. Uh, it, it kind of did matter in the past, but, I mean, you could pick and choose what game you played. I don't know. I'm just really not excited about it. But, but yeah, it's like it's either feast or famine now. I've seen a bunch of people just explode from, you know, six to 100,000 subscribers or, or 3,000 to 60,000 pretty much in, like, a couple months. And then other guys that work really hard on their content are staying even and just barely growing. And, and so it's just really tough now. It's much harder than it used to be. So I spent a lot of time on that comment, probably too much. I'm going to go to the next one here. I could talk all day on that subject. If, if you can tell, I can, I can talk forever. So Oshi, Oshi, Oshirina of Time, Ocarina of Time. There, finally I got it. Jeez, you'd act like I had never played a, a, a Zelda game. So anyway, John, does it matter where, where you share it? Is Facebook better than Twitter? I'm more willing to share on sites other than Facebook. Um, it doesn't really matter. I, I, as far as I know, it doesn't matter where you share it. Um, as far as the feedback we get as YouTubers, and not everybody gets it, but some YouTubers anyway, it uh, just shows up as a share, quote unquote. So I don't know where you shared it or anything like that. And as far as I'm, as far as I know, uh, YouTube doesn't have a way to track whether which one's more viral. And so I would, you know, Twitter's fine. If you're gonna, if if you share, period, anywhere you share, thank you. Um, there are plenty of places, Google, Google Plus, all kinds of different ways to share. You just go down in the video and. Um, click share and then it'll open up an option with a bunch of different you know Twitter Facebook Google Plus all the different options that, that are linked with YouTube that you can share um, now if you don't use the share button on the video you don't click share and it opens up that menu and then you click Twitter and click tweet or something it doesn't count as a share if you copy the video URL and paste it into Facebook that does not count as a share on my video you have to use 
the YouTube interface and click share, it opens up the menu and go that route. Um, it, that kind of stinks, but I think that's the only way they can track it. So that make, kind of makes sense, right? Um, so I really appreciate any shares. Really anything you guys can do to help. I appreciate you watching. You don't have to do any of this. It's just, you know, help. now you're more informed to help out the YouTubers you want to see get big. Um, I know a lot of people like to do that. So the last question for this week, Steven Schumacher. Oh, I already did that one. I thought I had four comments to do. Oh, I did. Okay, I already did them. So sorry about that. Anyway, I don't know why I'm saying sorry. Yeah, you will listen to every damn word I have to say. Now, if you know what movie that's from, you're awesome. I want to do more movie quotes, I think. I've been st not doing that as much, but movie quotes, yeah, they're awesome. So we're going to be moving on. Now I'm going to show you the cool interface tool. This is going to be a really super long Fan Friday video. I, I think you guys probably like that. I know my, my biggest fans generally like the long videos, maybe a four-hour video. I might just go to the bathroom. Maybe I'll go to the mall and just let the video run and record. Um, and it'll just be static, but whatever, right? So, is that, Andrew, you think that's a good idea? Yeah? Andrew says rock on to the break of dawn. So, anyway, just kidding. Let me show you that new tool, and I'll tell you what my ideas are for it. Okay, so we're back, and I just wanted to show you this really quick. This is a new thing from Google. I, I don't know what it's called, audience or fans or something like that. Connect with your top fans. It's kind of cool. Um, I opted into this as a beta feature for YouTube. Uh, they're only releasing it I, or allowing beta for, I think, certain channels over a certain subscriber size, and I'm not sure how many that is. Um, obviously, Dungeon Gamernet is in. I'm, I, you're seeing me on it. Uh, I also checked with my Let's Play channel, Nether Void, and I have 2,400 subs or something like that there, and I could not get into this. So I think the cutoff's 10,000. This is something new they're trying. So this is going to be kind of cool. So let me just go over it really quick here. It doesn't have a lot of features, but that's fine. Right now, I've got it sorted by engagement. These are the mo people that uh, like and comment and watch my, my videos the most. I think it's like and comment. What's this say again? Here, let me see. Public interaction with your channel. Likes, comments, and subscribes. Okay. So it's really likes and comments, the people that are really the most involved. So here's my top fan, Matija Graho, I think. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm really bad with um, non-English names. Uh, Rad... Radu Patron, Radu Patron, pretty cool. Uh, so it shows you a couple of their comments to kind of show you like how they kind of, what kind of comments they put up. When they subscribe, that's kind of cool too. Like, here's my f sixth largest fan and is not subscribed, so that's interesting. Watches, likes, and comments on my videos a lot and isn't subscribed. That's kind of yeah, just different. Um, I don't have a lot of those types. Most of my people are subscribed, so. So also, you can sort it by subscribers, how many, the most subscribers. So you can see, obviously, TDK Pyrostasis, 23,000. Um, that's kind of cool. These guys are all subscribing. These are the guys I used to play a lot of um, Minecraft with, and I'll be doing some more of that probably pretty soon. So that's kind of neat. And then also, just default, which is basically uh, subscribers and how much uh, interaction they have. So my biggest fan that's the most influential is Kaz, so thanks, dude. Um, he's, you know, always commenting on my stuff. I try to get on his channel as much as possible, too. Just super busy, I'm sure, as, as he is, so, being a YouTuber. So this is kind of neat. So what you can do with this, though, though, is create a top fan circle, and let me see if I can... Okay, so here we go. Here's the fan thing. Fan information for Google users. Yeah, that's not really helping me. Okay, insights. So what I'm going to be doing is creating one of these top fan circles. So I'm going to be... You know, checking that out and putting the people I know are really raging, insane fans into that top circle. And then what I can do is I can check how they look at my site to help so that their stats can help me with, with my content and stuff. Also, what you guys are interested in for my top fans, which is kind of cool. I don't, I don't know how this works because I've never tried it yet. But post a message just to this circle of fans, which I will be doing. Um, I want to have a little bit extra interaction for people that go the extra mile just because I think they deserve it. Uh, upload private videos. I also want to do that, but it was really hard in the past because you had to like put each email to the person you wanted to invite to that private video or something, or you had to email out um, the the URL to the video. Well, that's not that easy to do when you have a lot of fans. So this is going to be kind of cool. Um, get, get insights for other circles. I don't know why I would do that, but anyway, that's pretty neat. I haven't really checked this out a lot, but I will start doing that pretty soon. Um, tell me what you think about that feature. I think it's pretty amazing, so I'm going to be definitely doing that. Um, that's going to be really cool. So I'll, 
start doing that and maybe I'll do once a week an extra video just for those top fans but I, I'm not really sure how much extra I can really do pretty I'm pretty much balls to the wall right now with content I'm pretty pretty maxed so but I might be able to put an extra video out here and there like I'm, I'm gonna shoot for right from the start once a week um, so we'll see how that goes and then uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna shoot for a, a way to figure out who should end up in the top fan list I know I have this by by interaction um, I could go by that and just take the top so so many people um, and then curtail it that way take people out and add people I don't really know but it's gonna be pretty manual I think so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it so anyway I just wanted to show you that real quick let me know if you're kind of excited about that I'm pretty excited about it any way that YouTube can help me interact with fans and you know give different incentives and different things like that to, to help me out little tools is awesome so that's what I wanted to say about this. Let's see what my little list of crap I want to talk about. Um, I also want to talk about transfer, the transfer of my Civ 5 series to the Let's Play channel. Went really pretty well, actually. Um, the, the videos are actually picking up about four to 500 views per day now. Um, let me check what it's doing now. I actually am on a different thing. Hold on. I'm going to, no, that's not it. Nope, that's not it either. What the hell? Come on, guys. All right, hold on. So, and that's pretty cool. It was picking up um, probably about, I want to say, 800 views a day when I switched it over. So, actually, per day, the one I just put out today only got 182 views. So, that's actually not very good. Um, if you were watching that series, Civ 5, please jump over to, to my other channel and continue watching it. I know some of you say you have a hard time with doing that. Um, I might be trying to partner that channel soon so I can get shows and that way you can subscribe just to the series that you want to see on that Let's Play channel and so you won't get spammed or anything. It'll just be the videos just from that one series. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate uh, continued support over there. Uh, the first video, part 8 that I put up on Monday, uh, was the first video that moved over. It has 532 views. So it's a drop of about 300 or 40% of the viewership that I had on this series kind of a big hit I'm not really excited about that the only the only thing I am excited about is I want to grow this let's play channel the series over there are gonna be totally different setup and I know it's a big turnoff for a lot of people they aren't really concerned with let's play content so I don't want to have that on the combat channel I want them to be separate and now I'm dedicated to the second channel actually being its own independent me uh, channel so that's why I'm it's different than the first time I tried this. Um, the plan is to do Total War Rome 2 over there as well. If you don't know what Total War Rome 2 is, um, let's see. I have my Steam up currently, and I need to go get my wallet because I'm going to actually pre-purchase this on the video right now. Andrew, can you give me my wallet, please? I can't get up without stopping the video, basically. So I'm going to pre-purchase this now. Uh, I still have a lot of research to do on this game because I want to come into this game knowing as much as I can about it. Thanks, dude. Dude, stop. Give it to me. You troll. He's trolling me. Jeez. So, well, I, I can't actually do it because then you'd see my credit card information. But let's see. We can do add to cart here. Pre-purchasing Rome Total War 2. Now, I don't, to be honest, I don't suggest people pre-purchase stuff, okay? The only time you should pre-purchase something is if you've gotten to what you've watched gameplay you know a lot about the game because a lot of pre-purchases, the companies are trying to screw you. Uh, what they do is they put an embargo on any kind of gameplay footage or anything outside of developer hands, a.k.a. Uh, aliens, um, what was it, Alien Colonies or something like that that just came out. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but uh, Colonial Marines, it sucked balls. It was nothing like they said it was going to be, and they embargoed any kind of gameplay footage on it. They didn't, they didn't send any... Um, keys to any YouTubers to so they can preview it or anything like that. No reviewers got previews of that game before it came out because they knew when people saw it, they would be like, this is crap, I'm not buying it. It'd screw up the pre-sales, it'd screw up the regular sales, and they'd be dead. So only get a pre, only pre-purchase something you know is going to be something you want to play and you know it's good. You've seen gameplay footage. Now, I don't mean gameplay footage from like two years ago, E3. I'm talking recent gameplay footage, or if you've been able to beta it, that's another great thing. Usually get a little uh, bonus right here. I'm going to get the culture pack for pre-purchase. Creek states Athens, uh, Epirus. I'm probably saying that wrong in Sparta. Uh, that's going to be pretty neat. 
So I also get a couple other things. I don't know what that is. I really just want to play the game. So uh, extra packages, yay. Um, so I'm going to be purchasing that. Uh, actually, right after I stop recording this, so that's definitely going to be over there. Now, the only thing that can kind of screw it up is if uh, S Sega gets in there and copyright hits everybody playing this game. I don't think they'll do that. They didn't do it with their with Company of Heroes 2. Um, people are putting that all over YouTube, and it's fine. So I'm going to take my chances and do this. I'll pull it off if it's a big problem. Um, also, let's see. What else do I want to talk about in this general section here? Also plan on, I also plan on covering some Roman history in the meantime as a lead-up to Total, uh, Total War Rome 2. That should be pretty kick-ass. I know a lot about, well, I know some of the Roman history. Obviously, I don't know really, really detailed stuff. I'm not a historian or anything. Um, but I want to get into a little bit of, uh, you know, throw a few maps out there, watch the conquest take place, figure out when Total World Rome 2 takes place, what year it is and stuff like that, then try to follow the history a little bit so we can get kind of amped up for this game, uh, have a little bit of lead into this game. That'll be like a pre-series a pre -series for, for the Total, uh, Total World Rome 2 series. So that should be pretty interesting. Uh, that'll be something new I've never done before, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um... Also, as the last bullet point for this general section, life is my life has been really chaotic lately. Um, if you've noticed on my channel, my videos have not been coming out regularly on the combat channel. And a lot of that's just because like, last weekend I was gone from actually Thursday till Sunday. Um, actually, Saturday. I had Sunday. It was in something. I can't remember what it was. But um, then I had this... Oh, I was cleaning because we had a big adoption meeting on Tuesday. If you didn't watch the previous video... My wife and I are adopting uh, a little girl that's part of my wife's family um, where the mother is losing custody, so we want to keep her in the family. But anyway, that went really well. That was Tuesday. I had to get prepared for that. Uh, so I didn't have any time to record, really. Um, I know Civ 5 videos kept coming out. Those are pretty easy to record, which is another reason I like doing them. Um, they are not as complicated to set up and edit. Uh, so, But this weekend is not going to be as packed, so it should have a lot more time to do uh, videos and... and uh, pretty much stick to the schedule. I will also be updating the schedule for Dungeon Internet. So that's the end of the general section. From here on out, you're going to be hearing uh, content that's specific to the channel you're watching. Uh, if you want to see the other channel's um, content for Fan Friday, go ahead and click the link for that video. It'll be in the video description and hopefully an annotation if I can remember it. Go to that video, watch the whatever parts you want to watch to get the full spectrum of news. But that way I'm not uploading the same exact video on both channels, which I don't really want to do. So. I'm going to stop it here and go over to um, the, some channel-specific stuff. Hold on, guys. So now that we're out of the general uh, topics, now we can get down to some Dungeon Guru Net channel um, topics. Again, if you want to hear the, the Let's Play channel topics, go over to the other video. Um, so this, this weekend's fairly empty. Uh, I already kind of mentioned how I didn't really get around to producing all the videos I wanted to for this channel this week. Uh, namely, War Thunder, those videos have dropped off a lot, and we'll talk about that more in a second. Uh, there were none this week. Um, but, you know, I did get the Duxer thing. I kind of had to do that to get to make sure that you guys have a chance to get involved in that. Again, tonight is the final time period to uh, end that contest. If you want to get in on the contest where they give away Watt Gold and a bunch of other stuff, go to my Duxter video and click the link in the Duxter video description that will take you to Duxter and you can sign up through that link um, it counts you in on the contest which will be resolving tomorrow morning they will probably tell us in a few days after that who won whatever they're gonna do um, it's gonna be pretty cool so again tonight's the last night to get involved with that if you are a European guy and you're watching this Saturday it's probably well I guess it's not too late for you because I'm pretty sure Duxter is a Pacific uh, time zone based company just same time zone as I'm in so if it's early morning for you and it's not after midnight I would imagine for Pacific time people you can probably still get in on it so go ahead and check that video out um, so again I will probably be able to make a lot more videos I'm gonna be also fixing up the schedule for this channel because I know now the schedule will be changing since I'm not doing Dungeoncraft anymore on this channel um, it frees up a couple days to do other things I might not do any extra videos to get well I'm gonna try to do a video a day so, because I don't like holes. I like there to be a video t a day to let people, uh, people just check every day there's going to be a video. They don't even have to know what it is. That's kind of how I want to run the channel. So, I'm going to try to get a video every day. That might mean we see a couple extra replay videos this week because those are a little bit easier for me to do. Um, just while I get started getting back to a video per day and combat stuff. 
Also, I want to show you a couple new things. We'll talk about that in a second, so I guess I'm getting it himself. So, my next question. Are you still liking War Thunder? Uh, I have not done a video all week on War Thunder, and nobody said a word about it. No comments, no, no private messages, hey, where's War Thunder, you douche? Nothing like that. So, do you guys not want to see those anymore? My uh, drive to play the game is dropping off a little bit just because I'm getting a little bored of the game. Um, the economy, blah, blah, blah. And it seems like the views are dropping off a little bit for that for that game. So I'm not that super hyped about doing more of it. Also, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about. I don't like to just randomly chat about nothing. Um, I can't do replay videos on that. They're, it's really limited, so I can't even do... Guides, I don't even think it would be worthwhile. I don't know. Let me know what you think about doing plain guides. I don't do uh, historical battles, so plain guides in arcade, people say they're, they're pointless. I don't know. If you're an arcade player and you would like plain guides, please leave a comment. If you're an arcade player and you would like plain guides and somebody already commented, please thumbs up their comment. Uh, if you play arcade, make yourself known like you did in the other video to let me know I have fans, a lot of them, that play arcade. They're not all HB people. Um, so, again, are you still liking War Thunder? Because I noticed the views are dropping off and nobody playing when I didn't load any. Um, it's obvious you guys still like World of Tanks. This thing is getting tons of views. So, War Game Airland Battle. I'm not sure if you've heard of that before. Uh, I did pick it up a couple weeks ago, actually before Civ 5 came out, Brave New World. And I was going to maybe play that on this channel, but I noticed there's not a big market for it on YouTube. So I wasn't, and it's already been out for a few weeks. Uh, people already have videos up. Actually, they're almost four months old now. So I wasn't, I was kind of thinking that the window has passed to start up that game. Uh, I'm probably, I'll probably do a couple videos on it just so you can see what it is at least. Um, those I know will get a good amount of views just showing you guys a new game. So, again, it's not all about views, but as a YouTuber, I, especially with this new freaking algorithm that I cannot stand, I hate the algorithm, the new one, I have to do everything in my power to pump up my channel as much as I can, and that's a way I can do it. Again, it's gamey to me. It's very meta. It's not really what I like my channel to be about, but it, it's something you have to do. It's just, it's kind of like, I don't know. Okay, here's a good example for those people who like sports. Um, if you've ever followed baseball, you know that a lot of people used to take steroids, and they probably still do. But it wasn't as track. Uh, it wasn't tested as heavily back in like the late '90s, and so people were juicing and you know getting home run streaks and all this other stuff because they had steroids. They were abusing steroids, right? So let's say you're a guy who does not want to abuse steroids, and you're a really good batter. Normally, you're the best, right? You're the best normally. But these other guys are juicing, and you're not. So now they're at a competitive advantage uh, compared to you. You're not doing everything you can to compete with these guys. So you have to do the things you don't want to do. Now, I'm not saying in this instance I'm going to do anything illegal. Um, steroid use is illegal, so that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, well, I guess, I don't, I don't know if it's technically considered a legal drug. But anyway, we're not talking about whether it's legal or not. The point is, sometimes you have to do things you don't necessarily like doing to stay competitive and that's why I'm doing uh, basing a lot of the stuff on how many views it gets because that's what I have to do to stay competitive so I'll throw up a couple games of war game airland battle and see if you guys like it I think I can do replay videos on that I'm not positive on how that works but it is a lobby based game well it can be um, do it. there is multiplayer like a lobby based game and there's a campaign I will be running through the campaign on the channel to see if you guys like it so also, Battlefield, now I'm going to start running through a couple of other games I'd like to put on the channel. Battlefield 4 is coming up October 25th. Please correct me if that is the wrong date. Um, I will be trying to get into Battlefield 4 when it launches. I don't know if they're having a beta. I would imagine it would be soon or now. I need to check in on that. But I really want to do Battlefield 4. I had a great opportunity to do Battlefield 3 when it first came out because I actually got some beta footage up and it took off pretty good. Um, back then, I didn't really know about the whole... Um, uh, when a game first comes out is when you have to get on it. So I tried to do it like months and months later. Well, there are two, two reasons it kind of failed. One, the who you were going to watch was pretty much already established by the time it's six months into a game, like I already talked about. Two, people were so good at the game already that I sucked. They knew the map so well, I couldn't, I couldn't get ahead. I, it was really hard to learn. And they don't do a very good job matching newbies with newbies in that game. They don't have a league system like StarCraft II where it's ba you know, they match you based on your stats. Um, which I really wish they would do that because I would rather play a game where I don't get my ass handed to me four games out of five. You know, that's just not a lot of fun getting killed over and over and being cannon fodder for some dude who has a hundred levels and plays every day for ten hours. 
I don't want to get matched up with guys like that because it's just not... It, you know, it, again, let's go back to sports. What if high schoolers had to play against the major leaguers? You know, would that be any fun? First of all, would that be fun to watch? No. The major leaguers are going to wipe the floor with those guys. Secondly, would it be fun to play as the high schooler in a game you pretty much can never win? Because these guys are just beasts. You know, they have tons of advantages over you. They've been playing forever. It's their job. Um, so anyway, that's another thing. That reason I think they need a better matchmaking system. So anyway, but I'll be trying to do Battlefield for a rent when it kicks off. I think that's a good new game to play as far as this channel is concerned. That should be pretty fun. I'll, you know, I'll probably do be doing like gun guides and different things like that. Um, maybe do, maybe map guides would also be a good one to do for Battlefield 4. Command and Conquer 2, at least I think it's still called Command and Conquer 2. It's going to be a free-to-play release. I think it's coming out this year. It's something else I want to look into, especially since it's free-to-play. Uh, that means you guys can get involved with me and play that game. Um, but I heard it's kind of crappy, so I don't know. I'll have to check it out a little bit more. Again, if you know anything about these games, please comment in the video section, right, uh, in the uh, comment section so I can check it out, uh, get any information I can from you guys. You guys help me a lot. So. Uh, Mech Warrior Tactics, I think it's in beta right now. It's also free to play. It's kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics. You know, it's a tactics game. That's why it has tactics as the last part of its name. It's a it's a trading card game as well. So you can buy booster packs, but they're random to what you're going to get out of it. Um, basically, it's a digital trading card game. I think digital trading card games are a pile of crap. And here's uh, the reason why. Remember Magic the Gathering? You, you might still play it. It still comes out. They still have new sets. I got into that. I got into the Magic the Gathering back in like 1993 or 4, back when it pretty much first came out. And I have 10,000 Magic the Gathering cards, okay? Magic cards. I can still play those whenever I want. I own those. I can keep them. I can pass them to, to my son. Andrew actually pretty much keeps them up, sorts them out, builds decks out of them. I can't do that with Mech Warrior Tactics. I buy um, expansion packs in the game or whatever, you know, and it's random. I'm not even buying, like, well, we'll get into that in a second. But I can't keep those once the game goes offline, or I can't pass those on to Andrew and let him play them. He can't pass them on to his son. It can't be something that's passed around. Something, I can't, I can't buy it and keep the product forever. It's more like I'm renting it. If I'm going to rent your game, um, I'm not going to pay you for random stuff in your game. They'd be like, here, here's what it's like. You're playing EverQuest, or you're playing World of Warcraft. You, you know, you're paying your monthly subscription. Like, let's say there's no monthly, monthly subscription. You're just playing the game. You're, you're in a dungeon. Uh, you, you kill the boss. There's a chest. But you have to pay for the chest drop. You don't just get to loot it. Yeah, you beat the boss, but you don't just get to loot it. You have to pay for what's in the chest. But here's the kicker. It's random what's in the chest. It could be complete garbage. Or it could be stuff you already have. Why would you pay and pay and pay for that? That's stupid. That's the dumbest model I've ever heard of. Here's the second reason that's so dumb. Once you build up a good set of magic cards, like you get a bunch of commons and all that, you don't really need to buy booster packs anymore. You just spend your money on rares that people have already opened the booster pack and sold the rare to the card store, and you go buy that specific rare that you want. Because you need four of them, and it's going to take you five boxes to get the four rares that you want. So you're, instead of spending $400 on you know five packs of boosters to get four cards, you're just going to pay 20 bucks to get those four cards. So as far as I know, you can't just buy rares for a certain set cost on their site. That's another reason it's stupid. Um, I wouldn't think it was stupid. Probably if you could buy those singles, it would probably be a much better system. I wouldn't complain about it so much. Now you do, I think, get booster packs at random when you win games and stuff like that. I think they do have something like that, but I, I'm, I, I'm sure it's going to be one of those things. There's going to be a reason for you to pay. It's gonna be, I, I'm kind of feeling like they're going to put one of those glass walls in there where you can get to that point and you have to pay or you're just going to pull your hair out and say, F this game, I'm out of here. Um, F you, F you, F you, you're cool, F you, I'm out. If you know what movie that is, again, bonus point for you. I might do a contest on that. That could be kind of cool, except how would I do it? People just Google it. Oh, I could do it on... Nope, people Google it even on the live stream. Interesting. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll have to... I'll have to work on that. That that'd be kind of a fun video. Anyway, so Mech Warrior Tactics it looks cool. I like I like it. I saw Total Biscuit play it, um, but I'm just not really. I don't like the um, the payment method. I don't like their payment plan. I think it's stupid. I'll have to check on it more, but for now I hate it. 
So, again, leave any Dungeon Guru Net related um, games you want me to play in the video description. Um, and then, if you were playing, if you were watching that Civ Five series and stop watching it because I put on a new channel, please go over there and support me for that. The, the video come, the videos come out every day, so you know if you check that feed, there's gonna be a video. It's not a lot of extra effort to watch the extra feed because it's a video per day. And right now, I'm not even doing any other videos, so it's only Civ Five right now. So um, I was getting about 800 views per day on the, when I had it on this channel. I moved it off of here so that people that just want combat and lobby based stuff can get combat and lobby based stuff and then so I can build up a let's play channel for that specific type of gameplay and commentary because it is totally different um, but I now I'm only getting like in one day I was getting 800 views generally in one day it would probably be six to eight hundred views now I'm getting like 200 views in a day so it's dropped off 75 percent drop off that's pretty effing pathetic man I mean that's pretty sad so Again, if you liked it, please go watch it because it's really helping. Um, I hate to whore out for views like that, but it, hey, YouTube's making me do it. Sorry. Blame YouTube. They're a bunch of D-bags, all right? Um, so anyway, that's going to be the end of this Fan Friday. Also, ask questions, and I'll pick two or three of them to answer next week. Uh, and these questions will be separate from whatever questions are asked on the, the Another Void Let's Play channel. Um, you guys get your own questions answered. So... Let me know what you guys think. It's a lot of stuff. I know this is a very long video. Uh, if you watch the whole thing, you're a super fan. Thanks. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.